Don't get me wrong here, I still prefer a mirrorless camera to this piece of shit DJI Pocket 3. It's glorious, it's like my favorite little thing to film on, but if it was just a choice, would I rather right now be on the Canon R8 with the Voigtlander 20mm? Yes, I would, but you don't have the specs in here. And if you're doing the math, what camera, how much money would you have to spend to match these specs in each mirrorless system? Let's take a deep dive. This isn't waterproof. Don't dive. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the DJI Pocket 3. Thank you, Winkle Pleck. We got a Ulanzi Black Pro Mist on there. Thin filters that allow the gimbal to close. Affiliate links are available. That's a shiny shirt. He is shiny. Huh? Silver. Speckled hat. I don't mind one of those. So, you're thinking of vlogging on a DJI Pocket 3 is a good choice. Couldn't beat it, really. If you wanted to match these specs in a Canon camera, we're talking you need a Canon R3. Wow. That uh, sounds pricey on paper. And you actually need a lens, unfortunately. What would the budget... Okay, let's just say... Okay, 16 mil 2.8. I'll give it to you, you budget hobo. So like there you have it. Boom. There's the price difference. DJI Pocket 3 or Canon R3. Can the Canon R3 do more things than the Pocket 3? Yeah, that's not what we're talking about. If you just want to vlog on a camera, you would have to get 4K 120p HD 240 on an R3. With that lens, not even a good lens. If you wanted these specs in a Sony camera, now we're looking ZV-E1 full frame. Okay, I'll give you two options. You also have this in the A6700, but it's such a crop on those modes. You're not running across the street in slow-mo. It's a super crop. It's like 58% extra crop. So like, no. But ZV-E1 with the Sony 20mm 1.8? Boom. Do you have that kind of stash in your socks? Do you hide it there? In my opinion, the ZV-E1 with the 20 mil would look much better, more dynamic range, just better in every area, except the stabe would suck. So your audience would puke and they'd be like, this is so shaky, what's your problem? And then you do your dynamic active stabe mode. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. Canon and Sony, you don't really have an offering. Your ZV-1 line is still stuck on like 8-bit pretender baby vlogs. Ooh, look at me. I'm vlogging on my way to the crib. Cribs are prisons. The bars, they're conditioning your child. Why don't you give them a, a mug so we can rattle it along. Your child's in jail and he doesn't have a Pocket 3. But surely Nikon has your back. Easily, you can match the DJI Pocket 3, no problem. 4K 120p, they have a couple cameras. HD 240, oh, you don't have that in any camera. Wow, that's, that's kind of hurtful. So you need to buy a Nikon Z8 with the Z-mount 20mm 1.8, and you get no 240p. Ow. That seems pricier than most so far. Ouch. That's very heavy. No flippy screen. Now, don't get me wrong. The Nikon Z30 was pretty good for vlogging. It was a little shaky, but color science, decent. But, like, it's very low-level tiered. You're not getting much slow-mo. Slow-mo is important. Don't pretend it isn't. It's one of the highest specs that we can deserve. So, like, Nikon, the big three so far... You're spending a lot of money just to compete. Now, Panasonic is the first contender to actually beat the Pocket 3 specs. You got 4K 120, but HD 300. Manual focus, but it can be done. You get a little like a 9mm. Still, that's still up there, isn't it? It's a bit high, but like you're, you're getting closer. No, you're not at all, but it's kind of heavy, but not that heavy. There's no exit here. That scares me. That would be a long walk back if that street doesn't exit my ass. Since he's not signaling, I'm assuming that he's not turning. Oh, you are. 
Oh, you are turning. Is that what we're doing? Oh. So usually I would wave them in. I'm that guy who always is like, oh yeah, come on in. It's gonna take me longer to cross the street than for you to scoot around me. That's what signals are for. Sure, I run every stoplight ever known. That's fine, that's how it, I'm in control. I get so many comments when I do a little scooter vlog, like, oh my God, what are you doing? It's controlled devil behavior. It's, I was a bike courier. I'm aware of everything. I'm never putting anyone in danger. I'm just going fast and I'm going places. So just relax. So Panasonic G92, not bad. Like a nine mil 3D pop. Okay, you're competing. It's a lot more money, it's a lot heavier. But at least you can do what this little witch stick does. Old man on a roof. Oh, you'll be the death of me. Olympus. Oh boy, they're still doing stuff. You'd need an OM1 to get the HD 240, but you're stuck at 4K 60. And you get maybe Olympus 12 mil Tony 2, that's a decent. You're spending that much for a company that's clearly out of business. Is it like an investment that will let you move out of your mother's basement one day? I don't think it's going to pay off for you. That's a, that's a minus 5% on those earnings. You know what's funny? This pigeon. Can I zoom? Hey. This, like, look at all the pigeon material up here. All the spikes. They're like, no pigeons. He loves it. He loves the spikes. When it comes to Fuji, in order to get 4K 120 and HD 240, you're looking at the Fuji X-H2S. And vlogging wise, they really don't have a perfect vlogging lens, but you could say the 16 mil 2.8 would be light and decent. I would have to get the 1.4 just because that's a well-known 3D pop lens. It's a masterpiece. It's a little heavier and you don't need that blurry of a background. It's stupid. But like, then you're doing YouTube studio stuff with it. Okay. Okay. Then you get a 35 mil 1.4 for later on, but X-H2S with the 16 mil 1.4. Just to match this. Just to match it. Are you gonna have better colors? Yeah, you would in the Fuji. Better dynamic range, worse autofocus, way worse stabe. It's a trade-off. Just a side test. I've been in 4800 Kelvins the whole time because I thought that looked okay. It's a cloudy day. Let me know down below if that was the right number. Right now we're in auto and DJI is choosing like 6000 Kelvins. Uh oh. Now we're in 5000 just because I'm doubting the 4800 choice of earlier on. And then we correct it to this. Is it good? These are handy. Too big and annoying to bring with you. But wow, color signs. By the way, I got a little cage thing for this on AliExpress. Funny story before I show it to you. So like, I order it from there. It's taking forever. It's like a month and a half. I'm like, what is this? Like, just cancel this thing. It's not coming. And he's like, oh, it's on the way. Trust me, it's fine. I'm like, sure, buddy. And then. I cancel it, but it, three days later, it shows up. I'm like, oh, look at that. And then for some reason, they continued with the cancellation and I got my money back and I felt bad. It was only like $7, but I was like, come on, man. Like it was delivered. Aren't you tracking it? So sorry, guy in China for ruining your whole business. And he's sleeping on the street now, but 
it's a little cage that allows me to put the Ulanzi backpack clips on and then you can be on here. Eh. So technically, when I'm done my vlog, I put you on my backpack and that's what you're doing. You could technically just vlog like this. People wouldn't know you're filming. Oh, she knew that I'm filming. I was gonna film her. She crossed the street. I'm gonna cross it to join you. Yeah, we're all having fun here. Don't worry about that. And then there's your show. So anyway, this little cage, I don't like it at all. It blocks the SD. There is a hot or cold shoe now that I could put a mic in. And I do like that I can clip it on the backpack clip, but it's bigger, it's bulky. I hate it. It could be done, but I just, I do hate it. So point is DJI is a pretty darn high tech device with all our needs met. Great stay, decent color science, amazing slow-mo, tiny little package. Will the battery last a couple more years? It could, it might. Would I rather own every camera that I mentioned in comparison to this? I would. I just, there's something about a real camera. This still feels like it's not a real camera. It's almost like smartphone territory with the look that they give off, but whatever. We live with it. Canon R3, I'll be looking for a used deal. No, I won't, but decent little device. I hate it. I wish I brought the R8 with the Voigtlander. That would have been sweet. I made a vlog the other day on the Zeiss Baddest 25 mil 22 A7S III, and people are like, oh my God, this is the best thing you've ever done. Oh my God. I never really get those compliments with the DJI, and I never will, but whatever. It works. I'll keep it. How you doing? You subscribing for more videos? Hey, next.